I can't believe none of you have recommended, actually I think a couple of you have recommended this podcast to me, but I can't believe I didn't listen to you until very recently. Hey everyone, it's FestivalActiveGames.com here, and today is Gay Day, and I'm going to be talking about Welcome to Night Vale. Uh, fair warning, I'm not very far into the show, so please don't post spoilers for anything. I will do a video when I finished, and then you can spoil it up for me. But right now, I'm only about maybe 15 episodes in, which is really far for two days, but I've been listening to it nonstop. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to be talking just a little bit about it. So, obviously, um, if you've listened to, like, the first episode, it's really gay. There's an entire, like, section of several episodes decided to talk talking about how pretty Carlos the Scientist is. And, like, I've never seen Carlos the Scientist, but I probably agree. Um, and so that's already gay, and the podcast is narrated by Cecil, who is, um, from what I know, identifies as male as well as Carlos does. So, yeah, gay, isn't it? As well as they really explicitly, um, have non-binary genders represented when, uh, Cecil is addressing the listener, uh, because they go, ladies, gentlemen, and you, dear listener, or listeners, or something along those lines, I've heard it quite a few times, having listeners listen to separate, um, listed separately from ladies and gentlemen, or just having an explicit non-binary representation there, which makes me very, very, very happy, because I, it just, like, I hear ladies and gentlemen all the time, and I know that's just a thing to say at this point, and people say that all the time, but having another gender represented there is, like, it's very similar to Thomas Sanders, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, um, and so that just makes me super happy that it's there. And I can't believe none of you have recommended, actually I think a couple of you have recommended this podcast to me, but I can't believe I didn't listen to you until very recently, because this podcast is like exactly my sense of humor. It's perfect for me. Um, I think my favorite thing, hold on, I'll pull this up on my phone while I talk. Um, but this podcast is exactly my sense of humor. It reminds me a lot of The Adventure Zone, which is another podcast I love, and just my sense of like subtle horror humor, because it's just, a little unsettling, like just a teeny bit, and that is exactly what I love about it, is that you're just, like, there's some things that are really weird, and you get, like, I get that it's fictional and it's a work of horror, but it's, like, just a little unsettling, and the fact that they mention Ralph's a lot kind of starts to startle me, because there's a Ralph's very, very close to my house, and so, and, like, it's a very California thing, and also they're in the middle of the desert, and so that's a... California mood. I'm pretty sure it's in California. I mean, Ralph's, I just associate with California. Ralph's are, it's a California thing. And so, I'm, I'm actually not sure exactly where Night Vale is, so correct me if I'm wrong, but it's somewhere around West Coast, Best Coast, with Ralph's. It has Ralph's. It has, they mention the Ralph's quite a few times. But yeah, I love how just vaguely unsettling it is and how it's very subtle horror and it's very, it's like spooky but it's spooky. It's not scary, it's not terrifying, it's not frightening, it's spooky. And spooky is where I need it to be, because I get scared by stuff like this very easily. I don't like, I actually really like horror content, but I don't like it when it actually is scary. Um, although I'm really enjoying this. I'm listening to this while playing Subnautica, and Subnautica is a surprisingly good game to play while listening to podcasts, because when you're not listening to radio transmissions and stuff, then you have podcast background, and Subnautica goes along really well, because Subnautica is kind of a horror game, it's a spooky game, with Welcome to Night Vale as a spooky podcast, that fits really well, and like sort of an off note about Subnautica is that um, my anxiety has been getting a lot, about like stupid fears has been getting a lot better since I started listening, or since I started playing Subnautica, because my fear of giant things eating me in the ocean is starting to uh, envelop my fears of everything else. And so that's good. And it's only in the deep parts of the ocean, and I don't go there very often. So that's helping, surprisingly. Uh, but yeah, I have a couple quotes that I want to pull up on my phone real fast. Cut to that. Okay, so a, a couple quotes that I think are a really good example of this podcast and how it fits sen my sense of humor perfectly are, um, sometimes you go through things that seem huge at the time, like a mysterious glowing cloud devouring your entire community. While they're happening, they feel like the only thing that matters, and you can hardly imagine that there's a world out there that might have anything else going on. And then the glow cloud moves on, and you move on, and the event is behind you. And you may find that, as time passes, you remember it less and less, or not at all in my case, and you are left with nothing but a powerful wonder at the fleeting nature of even the most important things in life. And the faint, 
but pretty. Smell of vanilla. And that is uh, a quote that is, and the uh, vanilla part is going back to earlier in the episode. And it's just a really nice and it's a really beautiful quote. And then a quote from roughly the same time um, in the previous episode is, can alligators eat your children? Yes. And so that highlights this podcast so well. And I actually discovered this podcast through um, a BuzzFeed quiz, which was, was this said by Cecil Baldwin, who's the narrator of Welcome Night Bell, or John Mulaney? And I was like, oh boy, this Cecil Baldwin man sounds very, very funny. And I would love to hear his funny, funny jokes. And so I started listening and I fell in love with it. It's so good. And I'm super thrilled to talk to you guys more about it. I just think it's amazing and gay. And you should listen to it. If you've listened to it already, leave a comment down below. Don't tell me what I'm in for. I don't want to know. Um, but I did see that while Googling that quote, there is an AO3 tag. And so I'm pretty happy about that. And I'll be sure to be visiting that place very soon after I finish listening to like the what, like 150 episodes of right now. There's a lot of them. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to press the subscribe button down below to see more videos like this, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.